Jose was born in Santiago de Cuba and immigrated to the United States when he was 11. He studied at Louisiana State University, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Construction Management and started his career shortly thereafter in Miami, working with Capaletti Brothers as a surveying party chief and project engineer. At Capaletti, Jose worked under Roberto Guerrera and Rick Espino at the quarry operations, pre-stress yard, the Virginia water plant, and turnpike extension projects. In 1977, Jose was hired by General Asphalt and Ron Lee, Inc. as project manager estimator for the construction of 18 miles of US-1 from Florida City to Key Largo and the reconstruction of US-27 and Dade in Broward counties. Several years later, he went to work for Badgett Resources as general manager and was involved with projects such as Interstate 75, Interstate 595, Alligator Alley, and the Sawgrass Expressway. As one of the founding members of Community Asphalt Corporation, Jose became president in 1984 and majority shareholder in 1987, retiring as chairman of the board in 2016. During this time, Community Asphalt grew to eventually become one of the most important and successful heavy highway contractors in Florida, with annual revenues reaching more than $300 million and employing more than 700 men and women with facilities in Dade, Palm Beach, Vero Beach, and Fort Myers. Jose credits his partners Michael Garfer, Jorge Rios, Ignacio Halley, and John Morris at Community Asphalt for the success of the business because of their loyalty, dedication, and hard work. Jose, now retired, enjoys working the farm in Hendersonville, North Carolina, traveling with his lovely wife of 43 years, Kathy, and spending time with his children and grandchildren. Congratulations, Jose Fernandez, on being inducted into the 2018 Florida Transportation Builders Association's Hall of Fame.